okay so jyoti this is uh, uh, going to be our second interaction uh, our first interaction was related to your uh, you know selection in uh, prestigious pennsylvania university for phd and you are from <laughs> physics background so uh, thanks for accepting my request to provide information to students related to you know uh, various career opportunities uh, which they can explore through gate exam so thanks a lot uh, jyoti for uh, your uh, this time second time it's my pleasure okay jyoti uh, you know uh, uh, normally on your pedia we keep on providing lot of information to engineering graduates and uh, there are very less uh, videos which we have uploaded for uh, you know the physics students or basic science students and this can be a good uh, beginning uh, with this particular video so since you are uh, yourself you have done your masters from uh, ism dhanbad and mm -hmm. uh, you are from physics background and you have written gate exam also so i yeah. think you are the right person from whom i can ask uh, about these options so jyoti when we talk about gate exam uh, normally in engineering through gate either you get job opportunities for mtech ms phd in prestigious institutes like iit or public sector so let me ask you do we get the similar opportunities if we write gate with physics also yes sir yes. we get the similar opportunities after writing gate physics also in okay. fact we can apply to other branches also uh, uh, the except for the exam also we can apply to other branches also for example electronics atmos atmospheric physics solid states in many universities for phd mtech as well as for psus so okay so let me come one by one jyoti since you have said that uh, if a student write exam with physics so yes. not only he is eligible to do mtech and phd in physics department but mm -hmm. he is also eligible to do mtech phd in other departments something like electronics so yes. can you please once again name such departments jyoti yes so for example i have uh, seen uh, i have done the detail analysis for iit delhi and iisc so okay. for I, uh, in, in iit delhi you can apply to seven such departments okay one is physics another is energy science and engineering okay other is material science and engineering Uh, in this, you can apply for mtech as well as phd through gates for in physics only mm -hmm. and uh, one department there are some center of excellence in iit delhi so okay. there are four center of excellence in iit delhi where they accept the physics graduate okay. one is care that is center for uh, applied research in electronics they take the msc physics student through okay. their gates score Mm -hmm. and another center of excellence is center for atmospheric science so okay. this is also very good course because then you can get uh, after doing phd or mtech you can get into imd uh, okay. in meteorological department as a scientist okay then mm -hmm. other such courses sense that is sensor instrumentation and cyber physical system engineering so they only accept people from mechanical engineering and msc physics student and another which is a uh, very uh, good course is uh, optics and photonics so okay. this is mm -hmm. okay. so these all you have mentioned for iit delhi right yeah and uh, Okay. Other in other IITs as well as NIT. Similar. Uh, similar. So, so before we go to IIC, I think you have done some kind of uh, analysis for IIC also, Jyoti. Before yes. we go to that, let me ask you. You mentioned about some of the departments which are very very prestigious as far as the yes. jobs are concerned. Yes. Like uh, care department is a dream department for electronics engineers. You know. Yes. So uh, this uh, CARE department gives very good job opportunities. Yes. So let me ask you a very straight question: the kind of job opportunities available for physics students in care department will be similar opportunities as engineers will get? Yes, sir. It will be similar opportunity because you are doing the same course. So. Okay, and no. this is after MSc. This is BSc. People can also join B Tech. No, after MSc, you can apply because BSc is a three-year course, so okay. it is okay. not equivalent to B Tech. So after mm -hmm. MSc, you can apply. In in fact, even Gate you can give after MSc. So they are accepting through Gate score only. So okay, and That's also perfect. if you are from IITs or uh, CFPI Institute like NITs, and if you have a CGPA more than eight, then you can directly apply, and there will be one shot interview, and you will be selected on that basis. Okay, so let me ask you here: if you are from centrally funded institute like uh, NITs and all. Yes, and there are so many other in uh, universities also in the state. 
so if you are you if you have done msc from there you can directly go for mtech courses and phd courses in iits is that yes. what you are saying yes sir okay perfect so now now i am coming jyoti to um, ic bangalore so can you name some of the departments where physics people can enter so sir uh, in uh, iisc you can enter for mtech also after gate score and for phd also so uh, there are four uh, main uh, departments like ims that is electronic system and engineering one is nano science and engineering and other is earth science so you can apply to these department and the gate score is also valid in these uh, courses okay. okay and jyoti there is a concept of direct phd uh, yes. in engineering you know btech guy can get directly get into phd so yes. that concept is there for uh, msc physics people also those who want to go into direct uh, phd Yes, uh, after MSc Physics, you can apply for direct PhD. In fact, most of the people uh, go for direct PhD, and there are a lot of options for PhD in basic science, especially physics. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so that is that option is there. Yes, sir. and okay. you can uh, go for PhD after BSc also through IIT mm -hmm. plan. There is integrated MS plus PhD in IITs as well as NIT and other uh, okay. departments okay. like either. Okay, wonderful. So, Jyoti, do you have any idea about uh, you know gate square requirement for entering into uh, IIT Delhi or IIT yeah. Bangalore? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, the gate score for MTech is very low as compared to PhD. Okay. So, I have seen that the gate score was uh, 350 for optics and photonics. And that is general category you are saying. Yes, sir. So, these are very low for MTech because MSc is already considered as a master's degree. So, very less people go there. But I think it's better to go in MTech and then prepare for PhD because usually. Mm -hmm. uh the exam preparation time is very long so it's always better to appear gate while you're in mm. your ms and so, then so, join. so uh, sorry to cut you but suppose somebody does mtech for 2 years and get into industrial job uh, that is the more you know alluring thing for engineering graduates to get into mtech so they they are more crazy for uh, mtech right yes, but sir. why it is a reverse in physics jyoti So I think uh, more mostly people are interested in research uh, okay. in basic science that uh, because the core structure is as such that okay. uh, you consider yourself as a future scientist. Okay. So these are the aspiration of usually basic okay. science people, and uh, either they apply for lecturership or professor. So usually they consider only these options are available to them. They are not very sure about whether there are any industrial opportunities for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So Jyoti, now let me uh, ask you something which is very very important, and that is, uh, you know, even I have very less uh, knowledge about that. and that is whether gate exam uh, when physics people write do they have opportunity in public sector also yes sir uh, so uh, this is a very uh, there are very less opportunities and even the gate people who are writing gate physics they are also not aware of it so there are many opportunities in phc and some of them are uh, like ongc they accept people through gate physics okay. but it's a uh, highly recommend physics student so you join as a scientist there and mm -hmm. drdo there are many labs uh, in drdo where they specially recruit physics people okay. and isro also they recruit physics people so i, I will also like to add that these in, for example bar drdo and isro they also provide mtech courses for uh, mm -hmm. physics student okay. and uh, the gate score to apply in these institute also is very low for gate physics student so okay. even if you are getting in 400 500 gate score then also you can get into mm. mtech courses through these institute mm. like uh, dia at uh, by drdo mm. in drdo pune and csir labs uh, what is the route for jrf srf for that So for CSIR lab, uh, you have to qualify CSIR JRF. That is separate exam, and okay. also you can apply through gate. But uh, for that, you need high gate score. It should be more than seven hundred or six between six hundred to seven hundred. Okay, perfect. So and that so, means uh, yeah. Yes, sir. So that uh, means we have couple of options with gate, right? For higher education also, and then for uh, uh, this uh, uh, op job options also in uh, various uh, public sectors, as you mentioned. 
so uh, jyoti now uh, i'll uh, see it's a wonderful information to start with i think we can uh, uh, provide such kind of informations of other iits also and let me also request you jyoti there are you know cer certain in more informations which uh, will be very very helpful for the students so uh, may i request you to uh, spare more time uh, for providing the information in future about you know certain departments like uh, care department we know is a prestigious department in iit delhi i'm very sure every iit has certain departments and also like uh, there is a craze nowadays for you know data analytics and uh, artificial intelligence kind of uh, subjects so they are interdisciplinary domains uh, mm -hmm. mathematics uh, students can enter into uh, these areas and in some institutes even these departments are under mathematics department so yes. we want more information uh, more opportunities for physics people in these kind of uh, domains so i'm very sure uh, you you uh, are the best person uh, from where we can get this kind of information related to you know various iits and uh, for uh, physics people so i will request you to uh, uh, provide this information in the next couple of videos so that students of physics like today is uh, 5th feb and i think exam of uh, physics will be over today or tomorrow so after that students can utilize their time properly for application into these kind of institutes yes sir i okay do the next interaction right and uh, thanks a lot jyoti for this information and uh, we look forward for more such informative videos thank you thank you sir